Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we're playing Space Engineers. So yeah, today we are here um, with the Eagle Transporter. We're um, having another session with the Eagle Transporter in the Moonbase Alpha. And what I want to do is um, a mission. Um, the mission is to deploy um, a rover in uh, the earth like drop a, a, a rover from the Eagle transporter and land it on the earth and in the meanwhile while um, the the rover is uh, going um, to the earth I want the Eagle transporter to return um, by itself and for that I am using uh, remote control uh, here you can see that in the um, command module I install a remote control and what I want to do now is to uh, make a test with a remote control to see if it's going to return by itself I, I added two waypoints one here um, really um, above uh, high above the moon base alpha and it's called above moon ba base alpha 1 so I will add this uh, um, waypoint and the other one is the <coughs> landing uh, alpha base landing pad so this is where we are going to land so in the f next episodes we will be making these tests like to get all set up for, uh, for the mission so I want this um, these waypoints to um, be a sequence and they will be um, one way so not patrol but one way and yeah and I want to I want to activate the autopilot so if I activate it then we should now the, 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 the remote control is um, taking control of the ship. So here are my hands. I'm not driving. <laughs> so um, yeah, we see that the, that the altitude is uh, decreasing. And yeah, it will land in the, in the, in the landing pad. Uh, there's um, at the landing side, there is uh, this... Um, I, I think we can... Oh no. <laughs> we are in realistic mode, so I cannot take a, a look from outside. We can um, take a look at the different cameras, right? Yeah, but what I, w I was saying is that um, in the landing pad there is uh, this connector. There's a, a connector uh, that fits in the position of the with a and, and couples uh, with the eagle transporter if it lands correctly so let's see if um, how well the, the the remote control is able to to manage this so currently we are what's the altitude I don't s well we can see it here right Yeah, it's not very uh, efficient because it's uh, it has these dampeners on. But I am afraid if um, I think there's the option to to disable the dampers. Uh, but I'm afraid that it will it it could go wrong, right? Here, inertia dampeners. I think you can you can disable them but it could be that it's um, de de depending on the precision it can just crash the <laughs> the ship well we could do that test as well yeah because the the, the thing about the dampeners is that it um, it tends to use a lot of energy when when the dampeners are, are on 
to go uh, downwards it uses um, ion thrusters uh, where I don't have um, hydrogen thrusters to to move the the eagle transport uh, downwards because I rely on gravity for that so that that's the way I designed the eagle transporter um, to 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 use the uh, moon's gravity as uh, as a force to to control the ship somehow if you have seen previous video of the eagle transporter you will you will see this so currently it's going um, smooth I should say uh, the idea then is that uh, the remote control would I would be in the in the rover right when we approach the the earth and I will decouple from the Eagle transporter and then give the the, the order to the Eagle transporter to return to the to the moon base alpha then we land on on earth uh, here it's um, coming you see uh, at, at the left hand side um, the connector so it should um, it should connect oh well it's quite far away wow it, it didn't do a very good job here <laughs> okay <clears throat> it in fact it destroyed part of the base so if we wanted to do this better so it should be there are other cameras which ones are those like the six I think six and seven yeah because it it landed very far away okay so first let's um, let's stabilize this yeah I think it's not a good idea to land it on on the base so that's that's my conclusion from the from the first test Uh, six and seven wait three four okay these are the yeah these are the ones three and four I are the um, the cameras from the from the back from the loading area and this one five I think is the back one okay so let's uh, st stabilize this a little bit and I think we're um, we should go forward I think let me take a look from outside yes so you see that there is this um, ah, but we are in a totally wrong orientation there is this um, connector here and it should align with that connector there but yeah I, I should oh I just crashed okay I should um, orient the Eagle transporter like this yes There we go. Okay, it should have it, sh it should land like this. And I took the um, 
the first waypoint I took it while the Eagle Transporter was landed but evidently it's a uh, very um, imp how should I say it not precise yeah so now that we made this test I think like the best uh, thing would be to try to land it um, on the moon surface itself I don't think it's a good idea to to have it la landing on the base okay how are we now oh okay yes this is like the front so this is the the back one This is the one I have to align. There. Yeah, so we will be doing that. And as I wa was explaining before, the, um, the plan is to I will hop into the rover by the way I decided before I had the idea to like um, do this with um, I think that uh, I was um, thinking about doing this with there we go it's perfect doing this with uh, with uh, uh, another um like to, to to have have it with some pod but then i thought why not do it with a rover that a rover with a rover i can um have like um more freedom of movement there now it's engaged okay I can roam around I I on Earth or looking for resources, and the idea then is to build a, a ship to come back to to the Moon and verify that uh, Eagle Transport is in one piece. That, that's that's the that's the mission. Okay, so now I have it again in place. So. Let's see, here is, is a rover, this could be the one. It's designed to uh, be used as a Eagle Transporter load. And it's quite a powerful truck. It has um, a drill in the backside. So it can uh, get, like it, it can mine a lot of material quickly. Um, I would need a survival kit, of course, but maybe I would just take the materials to do it because this, this rover doesn't have one, I think. And this rover, uh, it seems that it doesn't have much battery left. Okay. Yeah, but this is the idea to to take this rover with us and yeah, there are other modules. I think I don't have uh, any other here like this uh, survival or ha a habitat modules here because this was uh, my idea before to 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 have um, to have a habitat module instead. But I think a rover would be better. Uh, in fact, this is one of the ways you can start space engineers, right? With a with a rover. Um, but 
of course the uh, the rover that you start with in space engineers has a um, survival kit this one doesn't but this shouldn't be a problem either i attach one to it or i just take materials with me like um the um, basically what we need that is rare is the um, the silver we need silver okay guys but i think i will leave this episode here we found out that it's better to have the eagle transporter land on um moon surface instead maybe we will put it um somewhere around here yeah we have to be careful not to or here not to have many um mountains around obstacles so let's see okay so stay tuned we will make more tests in the following episodes. This is Cyber Settlers signing off.